Shalom fam, it is your sis, that biblical babe, Jelly B, how you mate? I just want to remind you of something, yeah? You know where that was? there was that saying at that point in time that was like, if you ain't got haters, you ain't popping. It's, it's biblical, and let me show you. Let me show you, and I want to remind you, if people are hating on you, I don't mean people who are trying to correct you, like, actually, no, 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 did you think about things like this? No, I mean people who personally try to make digs at you, they are triggered by you, they get in their feelings, and then they respond from their feelings like they're some girl, might be a girl, but normally this is a very feminine trait, a person who can't hold their emotions. People who are haters, they are intrinsic, important to your journey. You can't even hate these people, dislike these people, think they're your enemies. They're not. They're your footstool. They are the people who bring your name before great men, okay? Just like Daniel. Daniel, full up of wisdom, and he was principled. Wisdom is the principal thing. He was principled. Oftentimes, people who don't like you, and I don't mean who want to correct you, people who personally don't like you and want to carry news about you and mess up your reputation and things like that, it's because you live by a set of principles that they can't, they couldn't even cross it, they can't reach that. They don't understand the wisdom that you carry is something above them, so they don't like looking up to you like this. It makes them feel even smaller than the reality of who they actually are. So in order for them to try to make you feel how they feel and see themselves when they look in the mirror, they make personal digs at you. And you should never lower your standards, your principles, anything like that to respond to these people. If you're a content creator, simply delay. I saw this girl do, anyway, let me not even get into it, but it's so funny. She used, it just reminded me that your enemies are your footstool. I'm going to explain it to you. I watch a lot of like decor stuff, interior design. I love all of that. Obviously, I'm doing up my house as well. So it's good to get inspo. And there's this lady where this somebody was hating on her um, content and saying, oh, you're, you can't do this and you're not even good at that. And she was like, oh, my gosh, you're so right. And included the quote and was like, this is why I've been sponsored by this company who are doing this. And that's why you should buy them. The person, the people who were paying her to make her content, she used the hater as her footstool. You people are saying this, talking a bag of things about me in my comments. Well, look, this is what the Lord does for me. And she ain't a believer like that. But the Lord speaks through a lot of things. OK, when people are hating on you carrying your name that is the biggest form of business that's how your business gets promoted by word of mouth even if people are saying negative things it really doesn't matter they are your footstool okay the lord prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies you don't even realize they're the ones who are pulling up the chairs to the kings and queens who will be seated at your table okay and it's always because of your principles when a person just doesn't like you it's based on your principles. It's the wisdom that you carry. When you have wisdom, it makes you influential. Other people will listen to you because of that wisdom. It's a gift. And that's what makes other people who have these kinds of spirits in them feel inadequate and lesser than. But I just want to remind you that all things work for your good. That includes people who hate on you and say this and that and that. They're not your enemies, these are people who give you free publicity, especially if you're a content creator. Let people chat. Obviously, delete their message because it's your platform to keep it clean and squeaky and nice, pretty, full of goodness and positivity. But let them chat about you. They are the ones who's going to carry your name, carry what you do to other people who will hear more about you, see more about you, make their own judgments about you. And they would do the same thing and same thing and same thing. The Lord works everything for your good. You don't have haters. They are your footstool. They are the people that are working for you, working for the Lord. They do his work and they don't even realize it. They work for you. They are your footstool. They are the people that carry you, that bring the seats at your table for the people who are supposed to sit there. They carry the news for you. Free publicity, okay? Walk in that. All right, shalom.